um, good evening. And two, and two. And just... um, yes, it's been, um, I'm going to start, what can I say in a sense, I'm going to start firstly by saying that, that I'm not really known as a presenter. Lo que va a decir en un principio es que no es conocido como un presentador. So I'm not built for presentations. What I'm going to show you here is basically what we've done in the last, I would say, two or three years uh, with the Springbox, and and not even just on Springbox, but I mean at provincial level, at club level, at school level, it's basically the same. Yep. Bien, lo que va a mostrar es eh, básicamente lo que hizo en estos dos tres años con los Springbox y lo que hacen en, en el nivel de clubes que es básicamente lo mismo. Um, I'm actually a regional farmer, so I'm, yeah, I'm coaching and I do enjoy it. My love is the farm, but my passion is is, is the scrums. Yeah. Él es un, originalmente es un granjero, eh, su pasión es la granja, pero su verdadera pasión es el scrum. So um, we actually keep it very very simple in the scrums um, and in the scrum department. And I can be, I'm not sure if, if I should say it, but I'll go, I'll get to that, what we're doing with the spring box at the scrums. Eso es tratar de mantenerlo bien simple, pero bueno, hay cosas que hacen que, no sé si las, las va a poder decir ahora, pero bueno, ahora vamos a mostrar. Um, it's like all front rows, I'm not always sure if all is legal, uh, or not legal, but we do it. Ah. <laughs> Partimos de la base de que hay cosas que son legales y otras que no, pero las hacemos. Ok, because uh, um, where I, where I uh, learned all my tricks in the scrums, I played a lot of years with Omar Hassan, he's well known, uh, tight end prop for Tucumán, am I right? He jugó con Omar Hassan muchos años y aprendí muchos trucos. And, and, and uh, during eight years I had a, a well known second row uh, Argentinian by the name of Albert, uh, Albacete, Patricio, Pato. Y jugó durante muchos años con, en la segunda línea con Pato Albacete lo tenía. Um, and, and next to me, uh, we were all playing together in France. His name is uh, Verne Basaldo. He's a rocker. So, um, yeah, and, and um, as I, so, uh, I think um, uh, Juan said earlier that only Argentinian props, they learn how to scrum and cast, but I think it's all over France because there's other props well known as right, playing in my career like uh, Ron Cerro, uh, he was a client. <laughs> Dice que, todo, que todos los, los pilares argentinos, si bien se formaron acá, pero siempre todos terminaron jugando en Francia, como Ron Cerro. And uh, Martin Celso. Celso. Y Martin Celso. Yeah, they were real clients. I can, I can, uh, clients. I can assure you of that. But anyway, I'm going to start off by, by, by just talking in general about our scrums, about scrumming. So anytime, please stop me if you've got a question. Yeah, don't wait till the end. Dice, va, va a hablar general de Crown y, y, y el de Scrum Machine y que en cualquier momento lo frenen para hacer preguntas que no esperen hasta el final. Ok, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start by what is a perfect Scrum? It is an action where eight players think, do, every time, all together the same. We call it the same page. Él, él pregunta cuál es el scrum perfecto y dice que es el, el lugar donde ocho jugadores piensan y actúan los ocho al mismo tiempo y en la, en la misma página, en el same page. Um, not just the same shape, but the same height as well. Because I think that's the position and I'll come now to that where you, you can generate maximum power if all eight, because this is three, oh sorry, this is two and a half. This is three, um, but with eight players all on the same page, I think it's quite important for having a great result. Es decir, que tienen diferentes posturas, pero siempre la misma altura y si tenemos los ocho jugadores en la misma página es donde se puede obtener grandes resultados. Yeah, scrumming is about pressure. And normally, when you don't have pressure, you don't have a result. Si no hay presión, no hay resultado. Um, I think it's quite basically, I think we all think the same. Um, yes. Creo que todos pensamos lo mismo y, y es básico. I'm going to show you an example quickly from where I think there wasn't any pressure and then obviously you can have a look at the result. 
le va a mostrar ejemplos donde no hubo presión y cuál fue el resultado. Creo que todos coincidimos en eso. Exactly, another example, just in another example where there's no pressure. Otro ejemplo sin presión. And look where they end. Y look at the difference of the term. It's it's not the ideal because I think what we what we want is. You actually come. It comes down to save energy by applying pressure first in the scrum, get them on the back foot, just an opposition ball, and then I think you, as a team, it's not only the the forwards. I think it's a whole team that can benefit from that. Dice que a veces se trata de de ahorrar energía, pero ejerciendo presión y poniendo al equipo sobre sus talones termina beneficiando a todo el equipo. Ejerciendo presión desde el corner defense. And it and basically comes down to in in all three our departments is where myself, Dion, and Stocker. If you talking about pressure in the lineout, pressure in a scrum, and pressure in the air, in the aerial battle, in the air. Y es y se y se se conecta con los tres departamentos, con el lineout, con ataque y con el scrum es permanentemente ejercer presión sobre el rival. And, and what we found is, um, I, I think, what we need is in a, having a proper scrum is you need to put a system in place. Yeah. Para un buen scrum necesitamos poner un sistema en el en el mismo. Uh, because a system, if you have a system in place um, in your scrums, uh, players leave now and then. They leave, they come and they go. If you're a club or school or university or wherever you coach, but the system it doesn't leave. Si nosotros ponemos un sistema, el cambio de jugadores no lo afecta. Los jugadores van y vienen permanentemente, los seleccionados, clubes y demás y escuelas. Entonces, si tenemos un sistema, eso no se ve afectado. Um, just before going on, this is actually the five steps that we're looking at, and because I'm working closely with the referees in South Africa as well, this is basically the five steps that we're looking at um, coming scrum time. First one is the setup. Mira, va a hablar de los cinco aspectos que ellos trabajan o que miran junto con el referee y demás. El primero es el setup. And because everybody, uh, and Dion said it earlier, like in the lineout, we must all look all every time exactly the same. Dice que también que es al igual que en el lineout es es un aspecto donde todos tienen que estar mirando lo mismo en ese momento. Uh, the second one is the bind. We, why I'm saying the bind is um, that must be aggressive because if you miss the bind, then most probably you will struggle in the next step as well. Okay. Eh, el siguiente aspecto es el bind, la toma, que él dice que tiene que ser agresivo porque si, si pierdo la toma, después va a estar luchando en, en la siguiente. I, I, uh, I always say to the players, that that is your first contact before you're going into a scrum. He must understand what's coming by binding. He must understand what's coming already. Es el primer contacto con el rival y es donde tiene que entender qué le va a venir después y cómo vamos a estar plantados. Okay, then obviously the heat. We want to have a proper heat. What we want to do is, legal or not legal, uh, we want to move their feet. Bien, después viene el, el, el golpe o la corrección, como se llama acá, eh, y sea legal o no, ellos lo que quieren es que ellos muevan los pies. O sea, una vez que ingresan, que el, la oposición mueva los pies. And then, why I'm saying the heat is normally, and that is where the referee part comes in, I, we know they want stability after the heat. Ellos, eh, o sea, ellos después quieren estabilidad, pero después del golpe. But normally, uh, I would say a scrum that is... 85% the heat already. El escalón es el 85% el golpe o la conexión. Maybe 100%. Sorry. 
Me, eh, quizás el 100%. Es el Es por eso es el oh, departamento de los pilares. No te puedes esconder en el Scrum. And secondly, there is no secrets. Y no hay secretos. But there is stuff that we can do to improve it. Pero hay cosas que vos puedes hacer para mejorar. Ellos lo que buscan es en, en dos pasos adaptarse, o sea, es golpear, desestabilizar, eh, se adaptan y después eh, mantienen la presión. Um, Legal or not. Yeah. <laughs> And then obviously we, we depend on a proper call, like we got the, on, on our ball it's a number six at call, on opposition ball it's a number seven. He calls when the ball comes in and obviously we have to look at also when the ball comes in we can, we can scrum. Y tiene el, el canto, lo da el, el tercera línea, el seis, Sit number six on, and, and, and on six on our ball. In el pelota propia and number seven and el siete en pelota de la posición. Because he's on the other side where they feed the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then obviously the, the push we want to do and because I know referees all over the world they want to have uh, um, uh, to dominate on both sides. You need to both not just on the loose it side on the tight it side as well as a unit. Y ellos, el, 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 todos los referees quieren que el, de, los dos, de ambos lados se empuje derecho a, eh, como unidad y bueno, y trabajan en eso. Una, una pregunta, sí. el tema de la discusión que tenemos con el buqueo, sobre todo en la burba, en la Argentina, ellos le mandan el, el, el kit, buquean antes de empujar, o lo hacen en simultáneo, o buquean de ejecutar, por desgracia. Cuando tienes que hook el paso, you are simultaneously with the hit, o you hit and then you We, we hit and then we hook because, be, yes, then we push because uh, you're not allowed to hit and feed the ball together. They're not allowed. No, no, no. Um, maybe at club level, I think you can get get away with it. I'm not sure at international level you can't get away with it. Yeah, we, we into the scrum. Yeah. We hooking and uh, simultaneously. Simultaneously. Simultaneously, simultaneously uh, we push. It, it sounds like a second. Yeah. You do is the it sounds like like back in France. It's prison rules. Lo, lo que dice es que ellos a nivel internacional ellos entran y después se juquea, no se puede hacer simultáneamente. Eh, que por ahí a nivel club sí se permite o eh, y dice que en Francia se 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 termina así. Se permite así. Se permite. Simultáneamente con el push o primero juguean y después empujan. No, no, no. The hooking is simultaneously with the push or you hook and then push. Or you can 
That's the thing that you're not going to tell you today. <laughs> what I'm going to say is, we working on the we listen, and after we listen, <laughs> we push. Que escuchan y después de que escuchan, I'm not sure if it's the truth. And anyway, I'll, I'll go back to basics of Scrum is we need to have connection. We need to have connection with the shoulders. We have connection in the hips because normally when you lose connection, it's problems. Ellos necesitan tener conexión con los hombros, con las caderas, porque normalmente cuando pierden conexión eh, se genera problemas. Um, and that's, that's basically it for, for, not just for the front row, but for the locks as well. The connection here, he mustn't lose that. The flanks, he mustn't lose that sliding over the prop. No solo para las primeras líneas, sino también para las segundas y los terceras. No se puede perder esa conexión. That's the connection that you're talking about. Um, but firstly, I think in, in all over, you must find out what do you want to achieve. We're talking about a scrum culture. We want to have certain results. We want to, how can I say, everybody invest in a scrum 100%, like in a defense system, like in an attack system. Como pasó en el line out, es, tenemos que preguntarnos qué es lo que queremos lograr, si queremos lograr la cultura de Scrum, eh, así como de defensa, como de ataque y demás. Es importante eh, preguntarnos eso antes. And I think, um, I'm not going to read all that, but what it means is actually, once you have the buy-in of all eight, then you will, have, you will be successful. I mentioned that before. Una, una vez que tenga la conexión de los ocho, Después vas a ser exitoso. Only when you have results, they will understand what influence it will have on the game. Eh, solo cuando tengas resultados, después vas a entender cuál es la influencia que vas a tener en el juego. And obviously, what we want to do is it it uh, it must be a weapon of the team. Y lo que ellos quieren es que sea un arma del equipo. Or the heartbeat of the team. O el el latido del el corazón del equipo. Um, what we obviously all, always want to achieve, and literally, literally every scrum, uh, I can't hide it. We scrum every scrum for a penalty. We want it because I, we know, and I'm not sure, but it gets into the head of the other team when they give one penalty away, two penalties away. Now, what's happening is normally is you you turn around. And you said, it, why, why, what are you doing? You don't scrum. And then the team makes like this. And that's what you want. Dice que lo que ellos quieren lograr con el scrum es primero penal, que es una forma de jugar sin riesgo, y empezar a dominar que el otro equipo se empiece a preguntar eh, qué es lo que está pasando y es donde eh, se meten en la cabeza de, de la oposición. And it's something that we do basically all over South Africa. It's all the teams that we're working close together and we have, want to have the same uh, mentality, culture, all over. Y a lo largo de todo Sudáfrica quiere tener esa mentalidad eh, en la cultura del Scrum. Um, if I go back to that one, what we want always is not just a penalty, but we want always a free play after maybe having advantage. And then that's what we want. And obviously a penalty try at the end, it's, it's, it's the best. O sea, una, una pelota con ventaja, un penal, un trae penal, eso es lo que quieren buscar, lo que, el objetivo cuando a la hora de empujar el club. This is just an example to show you what kind of influence it has on the game. Uh, Mostramos un ejemplo de la influencia que tiene en el juego. Pelota con ventaja. And that's what you want, a free play. Um, I'm going to... Okay, let me play this one quickly. Sometimes you don't get it right to scrum over them, but they feel the pressure. It's just an example. Eh, a veces no los podemos llevar para atrás, pero que sientan la presión. Este es un ejemplo. And um, this is the angles that we want. All the energy to the middle. We don't scrum to the right. We don't scrum to the left, because sometimes if you want to have scrum to the right. 
the players on the left hand side they relax and then we are not all on the same page. Estos son los ángulos que ellos quieren, toda la energía puesta hacia el centro, no quieren, se llegan a ver las líneas, ni empujar ni a derecha ni a izquierda, porque si empujan a derecha, los que están del lado izquierdo se, se relajan y dejan de estar en la misma página. If you look at the, the top figure, si hablamos de la postura y miren la figura, I think that's an ideal to generate power. That's where we talk about all the same shape, and if you look one on the bottom, that's where you will most probably end up having problems. Esa es la 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 postura ideal para generar eh, energía. O, y si miran la la figura de abajo es donde se generan los problemas. Why I'm showing you this, and I actually appreciate it because the the field that we train, I discussed with someone there. I'm not sure. Are you from there? No, no, no. Next, I have a question. Okay. Why I'm showing you this is because we've been to that training field. Uh, who is from that club? For the Drenar C, who is this club? I believe I believe they don't do the scrum machine there. No. Yeah. We don't use it. They say that they don't use So that's why maybe we have something in common because we don't use scrum machines. Ellos no usan eh, máquinas. No, 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 no. We don't have a heat because the scrum machine doesn't heat. It's it's getting a feeling, and that's what we try to do. We don't want um, we don't want the scrum machine because you only make the opposition better, not you. Dice que no quiere la máquina de scrum porque solo hace mejor a la oposición y que los hace a ellos eh, débiles, eh, que no tienen el, la sensación de la entrada y demás. A lot of people think they the game starts with the kickoff. We we believe it starts with the scrum. La mayoría cree que el partido empieza con el kickoff. Él cree que empieza con el scrum. Ah, bueno. Te hago una pregunta porque nosotros, pero nuestros equipos no tienen posibilidad de entrenar. No tenemos ah, tenemos equipos para para poder hacer el entrenamiento. Si no lo tenés, qué qué recomienda que hagas? ¿Entendés? Okay. They say they, they have the uh, two teams to pack four months to, to train properly. If you don't have a position in training, what do you suggest? I will, I will show you now. I will get to the exercise now. Okay. Okay. Um, this is what we do basically in every week. We analyze the other team. We see where there is weak points or strong points. We stay focused and we make changes, but not in our system. We stay the same. We will maybe do one or two things extra if we see some something. Lo que dice que hacen en la semana previa un partido analizan lo, las fortalezas y debilidades eh, y hacen algunos cambios, pero no sobre su sistema, sino sobre alguno extra sobre el rival. In this specific uh, um, we we were aware I was coaching with the, 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 the Bulls on the left hand side. El estaba entrando los Bulls, los de la izquierda. And uh, the Stormers on the right hand side. We tried to move, uh, which in this case Stephen Kutsov is playing South Africa now. He's he's outside foot. We pick it up that, and then we when we realize we're going to attack him because he's going to release some pressure and we will have a result. Ellos habían visto que querían empujarlos y veían que Kitschoff, que está jugando para los Stormers, eh, se levantaba un poco y querían a, aprovecharlo. Es solo un ejemplo. Déjame ver qué puedo hacer. Esto es un scrum exercise. Cuando you have números o cuando you don't have numbers. Es coming. Esto es un ejercicio si tenés. Eh, Números o no tener números para hacerlo. It's just in a normal one for timing that we do. It's a simple thing, but it's getting the same actions together. Es, una, es algo simple, pero es hacerlo todo, lo, todo al mismo tiempo, todos al mismo tiempo. This is the next one, one, one versus one. Uno just up and uno. down, have the feeling. And then we build it up three versus three, or 
5 versus 5 and then we carry on. 3 versus 3, 5 versus 5 and then sigue progressing. You will see uh, this is 2 locks and the 8 men on both sides. So, dos segundas y un ocho de los lados. I think because I think sometimes it's quite important that locks and flankers understand what's going on in the front row as well and be ready here for that. Porque para él es importante que los segundas líneas y los alas eh, empiecen a comprender lo que pasa más adelante con las primeras líneas y estén eh, listos mentalmente para esa batalla. Then we go 8 versus 8, but I'm going to show you now some of the spring mock practices. So I'm going to skip this one. We call it a helicopter because normally a helicopter takes off like this and the jet take off like this. So we started with the jet, the fire, and then we go to the helicopter. Dice 8 versus 8, ahora vamos a mostrar algunas imágenes de los spring mocks. Lo llaman helicóptero porque el helicóptero va para arriba y el jet va para adelante. And you will see it's not a heat. We build it into a heat. It's first just a sliding to get warm and get the feeling. Al principio no es eh, no es la entrada, sino que es una una conexión para para dar la sensación. This one we do as well. Having the feeling and knowing that if we miss one link, it's not going to work. Tener la tener la sensación y si y si se pierde alguna conexión es es lo que no va a funcionar. Es el objetivo de. And 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 just to show you, I actually included this one here as well. It's a. This was last week in your club. I just just to just to show you. Semana pasada en el SIC para que vean que hicieron lo mismo. And on that point. The thing is why we believe in live scrumming is you can't scrum if you don't have, if you're not conditioned. And that's why sometimes if we have a chance, we do the running in between to get the heartbeat right. Because if the heartbeat's right, then you'll be all right in the scrum. Lo que yo creo es que vos no podés empujar, eh, o sea, jugar el scrum si no tenés condición física, por eso les hacen hacer esa preacción, porque creen que si no tenés la condición física no podés ser bueno en el scrum. What we also do sometimes is we prepare our players um, for worst case scenarios when we have a yellow card only with seven. Mm -hmm. Otra cosa que hacen es preparar a sus jugadores para el peor escenario. Por ejemplo, con una tarjeta amarilla que juegan con siete jugadores en el pack. So I would say maybe once or maybe twice a year at least we will bring maybe the biggest center to come and scrum as well, to come to assist because you can't expect him to come in a game when he never done it before. Eh, una o dos veces por año lo hacen ir a algún centro grandote para que tenga la vivencia, para que en el momento que pase eh, pueda llevarlo adelante sin problemas si no sea una situación nueva para él. Here we were seven and we got it right to to get the penalty and to win the game. If you look at the time, we were draw. Ahí era siete. Era el 7 y lograron el penal eh, empujando. Uh, the main important thing is in every scrum, like if you can see one number is attitude. Eh, una de las cosas importantes de scrum es eh, la actitud y si ven el número. Of all eight, not seven, eight. Todos los ocho. Same page. No, si no siete en la misma página. Um, if you don't have the focus, 
I'm going to just go to short. I'm not going to read all of you. Don't have the focus, everybody in. Then you will you will not have an influence on the game. Si no tienen el foco de todos todos adentro, no van a tener influencia sobre el juego. You can see it there. Lo puedes ver ahí. Um, and there must be belief in the whole system. There must be belief from everybody that it's working. If you don't believe, it will most probably not work. The most important thing is we can't talk it right, we must scrum it right, we must work, we must work. With hard work, everything is possible. After, after a scrum, um, that guy must know he, he was your worst nightmare. Después de cada scrum, vos tenés tu peor pesadilla. That's just an example of a good scrum. Uh, uh, like, like I've said, I'm not going to play that. This is what we're aiming for all the time. Um, Esto es lo que intentan hacer, dominación. It's just domination every time. En cada... And I think this was in the World Cup final. And um, I think he had an influence on the game. Y eso empieza a tener influencia sobre el juego. Um, I've said that. And all, everybody, wherever we go, we always say we work towards something, whether it's at club level, whether it's, there's always a next step, and obviously for us, our players, uh, we work to get here, we will want to be here in this team, and that's why I'm saying, at club level, at provincial level, we are all in on one thing, to get there. Que tienen como objetivo estar ahí, en esa foto, tanto a nivel club, a nivel profesional, todos tienen ese objetivo y tienen que estar en esa foto, por eso tienen esa mentalidad. Do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? Sí, a mí me gustaría eh, todo el tiempo enseñar que hablas de foco. ¿no? ¿Trabaja en algo? ¿Tienes algún especialista en el orientado a trabajar sobre eso? ¿Tres ambientales? ¿Tres ambientales? ¿Tres ambientales? Yes. Yes, we we have an area. He said. He said he said the patient. Yeah. Yeah. He's a psychologist too. We we are sorry. Actually, in that question, we don't have any mental specialist in our team. The most important thing and one of our biggest local and motto in our team is is rugby. So the main thing is the main thing. We all there to, to we all there to, to play rugby. We all there to coach rugby for the players to play better on the field. So we feel like if we spend more time on rugby, you will see on my presentation how I'm gonna start. If we spend more energy on what's required between the four lines. And I think what Dan is saying, we don't have Yeah, mental specialist. We, uh, yeah, maybe you should say that. Lo que dicen es que ellos consideran que cuanto más tiempo pasen jugando el rugby o entrenando el rugby es donde van a mejorar esos aspectos que no tienen, por eso no necesitan. Porque lo más importante para ellos es el rugby, por eso que no tienen. I, I think I'll come now to a question. I think in, I just want to add up what he said. We as Springboard coaches, we are not uh, selfish. We are not, um, we share everything. So if Stokers see something in the scrums, or Dion see something in, 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 in the scrums, they all say it. We, we, we don't, we all buy in. We, I will go, I will tell Stoker as well, what I've seen maybe in some areas in, in the lineup, which I don't do often, it's not my speciality. Dice que eh, ellos, como entrenadores de primos, no son egoístas, que si ellos ven algo de, del área del otro, lo, lo comparten y lo dicen, todos para sumar, pues con el mismo objetivo. Um, I just want to show you quickly the last three exercises 
what we do as well, just not to move your feet. Luego vamos a tres ejercicios eh, que hacen también, que es no mover los pies. So you try to get the ball out, but you're not allowed to move your feet. Tienes que sacarle la pelota, pero no estás permitido mover los pies. Because the moment you move your feet and scrum, normally, normally there's problems. Porque en el momento que mueves los pies en el scrum, normalmente hay problemas. Um, <coughs> We do this as well. Hacer este también. And then we build it up five versus five. Después lo evoluciona el cinco versus cinco. Y después 8 versus 8. No, never from the side because sometimes we think like this you can you can slide over. This one you get a better connection here with with the um, with the bump. Bien, le preguntaba sobre la toma de las segundas líneas y lo que dicen es nunca por afuera porque dicen que en algún momento se puede ir por arriba de las primeras líneas entonces siempre mejor agarre por la, con la cadera eh, una mejor conexión, presión con la cadera y la agarre por abajo sí. Los cambios eh, prematuros eh, contra Nueva Zelanda en la primera línea fue porque detectaron algún inconveniente en el scrum o no lo tenían planeado versus all blacks, uh, early substitutions on the front row. There was, you identify some problems or uh, there was part of a plan? Um, no, I, don't, I think uh, against New Zealand, South Africa, yes, yes. I, think, I think what happened is we realized some of the players haven't been playing for a while, so I think five minutes before half time, if you can see something's going to happen, um, there might be a lot of mistakes sometimes, If you want to try to uh, evite, I just know the word in French, I don't know the word in, in uh, English. Avoid. Oh yeah, if you try to avoid that, that's why we bring something, someone up who maybe five minutes, it's not going to take a while. He'll be settled in quickly and he'll be fresh here. Que dice que eh, se dieron cuenta que muchos de esos jugadores no jugaban durante mucho tiempo y que identificaron que en los últimos cinco minutos, eh, tratando de evitar alguna situación, hicieron los cambios para inyectar a sus jugadores con, con aire fresco para evitar esa situación que por ahí posiblemente podía venir en ese momento, si mantenían a nosotros. We, actually, just to add on what you say, we don't, we don't take players off because of the mistakes they make. We don't do that. Our players, they know the goal is to get to a lot of battles on the field. So the moment we realize a player, even if it's after 20 minutes, the moment we see the player is getting slow to get into position, then we, that's the time for us to make a change. So it doesn't have to be uh, after five mistakes that he has made. So the biggest thing, goal in our team is we want the players to get to as many battles as possible. But the moment we see now he doesn't give us any more battles, then that's when sometimes we make changes. Sometimes we've done it on 20 minutes, lo que dice es que ellos no sacan ningún jugador por los errores que cometen, sino que eh, los jugadores están ahí para disputar un montón de batallas y si ven que alguno llega tarde en alguna situación, eh, es ahí donde eh, hacen el cambio porque, y los jugadores ya están, están advertidos de eso y, y están al tanto. O sea, que ellos van a plantear batallas todo el partido 
de donde venga algún jugador, por ahí no cometió ningún error, pero llega tarde o se levanta tarde en alguna situación, posiblemente eh, haya algún, algún cambio. Thank you very much, Dan. You're welcome.